English Legal Dictation 80 Words Per Minute Ready? Start! The appellant married the daughter of respondent number one as per the Islamic rights and customs. Two children were born out of the wedlock. Appellant's wife died after 13 years of marriage and within a year he married again. Respondent number one, maternal grandfather, respondent numbers two, three and four, maternal aunt and uncles of the minor children girl aged 13 years and boy aged 5 year initiated proceedings under section 7, 9 and 17 of the Guardian and Wards Act 1890 for appointment as guardians. They also filed application under section 12 of the Act praying for interim protection of the persons and properties of the minor children and also for an injunction restraining the appellant from interfering or disturbing the custody of the minor children. Family court passed an interim order restraining the appellant from interfering with the custody of the children with the respondent. Appellant challenged the order. Family court set aside the said order of injunction. High court set aside the said order and passed certain directions. Hence, the present appeal was made by the appellant in this court. Para Sections 12 of the Guardian and Wards Act 1890 empowers court to make such order for the temporary custody and protection of the person of property of the minor as it thinks proper in matters of custody, welfare of the children is the sole and single yardstick by which the court shall assess the comparative welfare comparative welfare of the children is the sole and single yardstick by which the court shall assess the comparative merit of the parties contesting for custody therefore while deciding the question of interim custody the court must be guided by the welfare of the children since empowers the court to make any order as it deems proper para with regard to guardianship the prima facie case lies in favor of the father as under section 19 of the act unless the father is not fit to be a guardian the court has no jurisdiction to appoint another guardian respondents despite the voluminous allegation leveled against the appellant have not been able to prove that he is not fit to take care of the minor children nor has the family court or the high court found him so. However, the question of custody is different from the question of guardianship. The father can continue to be the natural guardian of the children. Stop.